Global Surveillance, a bestseller. He is a member of the International Counterterrorism Office Association and possesses many law enforcement related training certificates and certifications. He has been used as an operational asset by the U.S. Department of Justice, the FBI, as well as the Pennsylvania and New York State police agencies. Hagman has performed 8,000 civil and criminal investigations. He's also a frequent expert witness throughout the United States. He's also certified in the forensic discipline of bloodstain pattern analysis. I'm not going to read uh, all of uh, his bio. It goes on and on, but he's been on Fox News, everything, uh, Associated Press, Reuters, Coast to Coast AM in this show. And he joins us uh, right now on the broadcast to break down his source. And here's the headline if you want to see his, because this is already out. It's already in a video form from last night's InfoWars Nightly News. You can get it. I just tweeted it out at Real Alex Jones at Twitter, twitter.com forward slash Real Alex Jones. We're also getting a bunch of calls asking how to sign up for the free newsletter that we send you free copies of the new newspaper in. Uh, it's InfoWars.com forward slash newsletter. The network is being inundated with calls. InfoWars.com forward slash newsletter. I'm sorry we can't give you free hard copies. We sell them at cost. They sold out in 36 hours, uh, 36,000 copies. We we kept back 4,000. Uh, but we printed 90,000, but 50,000 on the streets of Austin. The point is, is that you can get it free at infowars.com forward slash newsletter. And we're going to this format of our news that's emailed because our expert people we've talked to at the highest levels in government, out of government say they'll never be able to really stop an email. If we have your address, it'll be very hard down the road if they clamp down on stuff. If any Internet's left up, we'll still be able to get you emails. So if you want to stay in contact, Infowars.com forward slash newsletter. And we'll always be able to get you Infowars.com and PrisonBonnet.com one way or another. Okay, Doug Hagman joins us. DHS source, it's going hot. Obama faces uh, the prospect of not being reelected. So the word is they've green lighted the stage terror. They're going hot. Now that doesn't mean we can't stop it because you've heard the police officers of the show. You've heard our sources. They've been told it's coming in late October, early November. That does not mean it's going to happen. They could be doing this as a psyop or they could be doing it as a poison pill with the NSA to see who spreads it in agencies. They admit they do that or they could be testing to see if we get upset and warn people, or we could back them off. But 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 I believe Doug Hagman's source. I know he has these sources. Doug, we're going to break here in a few minutes, but recap what your source told you right now, uh, and specifically uh, where you see uh, this going in the time frame he gave you. Uh, Doug Hagman, thank you for joining us. Well, thanks, Alex, for having me. Uh, the, the time frame, let's address that first. Within the next 60 days, any time within, within the next 60 days, two different scenarios. One, if something would happen, whether it's economical, whether it's uh, uh, as a result of, we'll say, the Middle East uh, becoming explosive all of a sudden, or some other event out of the direct control of this group of people within this regime, the Obama regime, then, of course, they will roll with that and exploit, attempt to exploit that. After all, that's the best way to do it. Let something happen. Let's exploit the, uh, the situation. That way we don't have our hands dirty necessarily. Uh, the other uh, alternative, and, and this is what my, my source inside uh, with access to high levels at DHS said, is this. Um, sometime between now and the election, and with emphasis on the, the week, 10 days before the election, optimum time, they would stage a false flag type of operation. And, and uh, now this is only known to a very compartmentalized, very small group of people. And um, uh, this, this, the, the go signal that we're talking about is coming from of all people, Valerie Jarrett. And, and, and uh, there's also, I've heard other people including, now again, this, this is uh, allegedly from Valerie Jarrett, Jarrett and allegedly from people such as Leo Gerard, uh, head of labor union. Uh, they're all working together uh, to advance this operation. Well, what is this operation? It's it's uh, as as according to my source, it could be uh, one of perhaps three three areas. One could be um, a uh, an operation, something that will will elicit sympathy and empathy for the president uh, himself, 
and will depict the white guys with guns, with Bibles, conservative, pro-life, um, pro-constitution as the aggressors. That's what we're looking at as perhaps the most likely scenario. And I'll tell you what's shocking scenario. about this. We're going to break. Come back. We'll get into full detail with our guest uh, and what his source is saying the intel is allegedly. And again, we're reporting this because we've seen from behind the scenes saying the white Al-Qaeda, you know, the evil white guys are going to attack and they're the new enemy. To now the full rollout in TV, in fiction, in nonfiction, in news, they're setting it up. A little over a year ago, I began to do a lot. Well, I tell you, this is bold of Doug Hagman and his federal law enforcement source. It's bold to come out with this because they'll be able to probably track it back. It's bold to name names because, I mean, I know who Valerie Jarrett is. I don't know this other person. And, 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 and this is what his source is saying. He heard from sources. So getting past the names, the point is we see a massive PR buildup. Uh, demonizing libertarians, constitutionalists, saying we're terrorists, FEMA training videos everywhere about it, all these top White House people saying, boy, it'd sure be great to have a terror attack and blame it on our enemies. And they have a history of it with Oklahoma City, uh, the deputy attorney general intimately involved in the cover-up bare minimum of that. That came out in court, running fast and furious to blame the Second Amendment. So they're prime suspects. That's why I'm going with this. And we need to be able to turn this around. Why do you, I mean, going over your source, it, it, did they say, uh, because the quote is going hot, it's going hot, which in military terms, for those that don't know, means into a hot war. I mean, it's, 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 it's about to, uh, all hell's about to break loose to basically break it down. I mean, give us the data dump. Did, did your source say there's any way to stop it? Uh, how does it tie in with a sex scandal? I know that's happening. Yeah, and if I may, just, just briefly, Alex, uh, not that you need my endorsement in any way, shape, or form, but let me just say this so people understand where I'm coming from. Uh, I've got a lot of connections. I have 27 years in, in, in the uh, investigative business. I've got a lot of law enforcement contacts. I, I used to hear what you were telling, uh, what you were saying on the radio, and uh, for instance, about Oklahoma City and other issues. And I, I would think, you know what, there's no way, there's absolutely no way that uh, Alex Jones can be correct on this. And, and, and I want to apologize to the people I've talked to and, and perhaps influenced into that way of thinking because, you, you know, when you take the, uh, the blinders off and you start looking at this, as a normal investigation, oh yeah, now we're finding a, everything that you've been saying, everything that Steve Quayle's been saying. I, I used to fight him hard, tooth and nail. I was a bad student, you know, with him. But I got to tell you something. Uh, for those listening out there who doubt in any way, shape, or form what you're saying and what you've been saying, don't don't doubt it. Because we, look, we've done the investigation. You've done the investigation. And I got to tell you something. It's not. I mean, it's everything you say it is, and it's everything that, that, that we're saying it is. Now, to answer your question, the, the, the source that I've got uh, said, look, I cannot right now, for a lot of reasons, um, because he is a valuable informational and operational asset for the resistance, if you will, I cannot do anything overtly, come out to go to the press and say, here's what's happening. Because there's no documentation that's available. The way these people are setting this up, when I say these people, I'm referring to the, uh, the communications between the White House and the Department of Homeland Security. They're not stupid. There's nothing on paper. There's nothing. They're not leaving a trail. They're not leaving any documentation. This is not 1972, 73 Watergate. The, the, how, does your, how does your source discover this? Did he say that? Um. Yeah, initially by, uh, frankly, initially by accident, and being in the right place at the right time, and he overhearing something, and then ex uh, befriending a, a certain individual within the uh, within the, the uh, uh, major part of the homeland or within the upper echelon of, of homeland security, uh, within that leadership realm, and and because of that, because uh, it, because he was able to in, infiltrate it, if I guess that's the best word. Uh, then he found himself involved of late 
looking at the sex scandal that you talked about uh, and how that plays into this whole thing. Um, you know, the, the, the sexual perversion surrounding uh, uh, Jenna Napolitano and the fact that people, because they are involved in this. Uh, and as you know, the feds are now trying to block the suit being public and block new documents and discovery, which right. shows they're guilty of sin. That, exactly. Can you tell us what your source said the sexual stuff is? Well, you know, it, it's uh, the uh, there's different levels, but one of uh, where, where it affects my source and, and, and one of the uh, issues. Yeah, don't name my, names, but just what right, type of stuff. Right. You're talking about um, uh, uh, promotions based on uh, sexual performance. You're talking about promotions based on and access. This is well, that's admitted. Well. I mean, they, they call them in and say perform. Okay, yeah, well, I'm not exactly certain, you know, what is open source and what's not. I will stay there. Let's come back and talk about it uh, on the other side and then, and, and then get into this false flag, what type of false flag it could be, what we should look for. Um, but we know they tried to provocateur race riots with the Trayvon Martin thing. I mean, they had the Justice Department in there. That came out. So th they're going to try to pull something, folks. We're trying to stop it. We're on the march. The Empire's... Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central. We're here live. I am Alex Jones, your host. The websites are infowars.com and prisonplanet.tv, where we're streaming video right now. Now, I want to go back to uh, our guest here in just a moment. Don't ever forget that this broadcast is listener-supported. Uh, we're not like George Soros and MSNBC that get banker bailout money or uh, MSNBC that gets a uh, half billion bucks in job stimulus money to give Rachel Maddow a raise so she can say that your family's bad and your guns are bad and freedom's bad and tyranny's good. We're supported by you. And I've done it. I've hired the six new reporters. Four of them are here now. Two more are coming in the next few weeks. Uh, Linda West uh, and um, uh, others, Mr. Knight. And we are busting our hind ends to expand the amount of documentaries, the amount of reports, the amount of research, uh, the nightly news, uh, the newspaper. I've hired the seven people for that. Uh, I mean, we are off to the races here, uh, putting the capital you give us in. But to take the risk of expanding, we need more and more coal to come in so we can put it. Uh, see, most people don't want coal under their stocking. We want coal because we're putting it in the furnace to drive the locomotive. We're going to run over the New World Order in the info war. And we are going 110% right at them. So be sure and visit InfoWarsStore.com or InfoWarsShop.com. Both URLs take you to the same place. And you can find ProPure water filters, the best gravity-fed filters, at 10% below anybody else's price. You cannot find a lower price. We already had the lowest price. We're the number one seller. I just say 10% off with the promo code WATER at checkout. You can also call 888-253-3139. If you want to order ProPure or LifeStraw or any of the other products we carry, everything I personally have researched and I use myself, again, that's 888-253-3139 or InfoWarsStore.com or InfoWarsShop.com or link through at the little shopping link at InfoWars.com or PrisonPlanet.com. Now, uh, that said, we also carry all the best books, videos.